All right, Shalom, Shalom. Before I get started, as usual, I want to give all praises, go on, honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Hawakakwadash. All right, double honors to the other apostles, great millstone, rule and teach well, pushing out this, uh, the true names of the Heavenly Father, which is Yahweh, being the name of the Most High, and Yahweh Shah being the name of His only begotten Son, who the world falsely called Jesus Christ. That's not His name, His true name is Yahweh Shah. So, uh, pushing out the names of Yahweh Bashma Shah and these prophecies and true understanding of the Bible. <laughs> All right, and the men that's doing the same, Mighty Shalom. Okay, uh, you know, to the families of the men of the Lord, wish you Shalom. All right, this is very quick, uh, you know, very quick sit down, okay? This caught my eye and I want to read it. All right, this by terror or alarm. At least six new oil tankers diverted away from the, the Southern Red Sea after a Houthi ballistic missile uh, hit another U.S. container ship. Oil prices in the U.S. may skyrocket in a few hours. Okay. So, uh, the Wadi Haobashimau Shah for that. Okay. The Wadi Haobashimau Shah for that. Okay. So, uh, that's, like I said, it's going to affect gas. All right, so gas is about to skyrocket. Um, everything is going to escalate. All right, this year has started. We just within, we're 14 days within the first month, 15 days within the first month of 2024. It's already, uh, you know, it's up there and it's stuck there. So um, this, you know, is going to bring um, hyperinflation. Uh, well, we, we understand uh Babylon the Great America is going to go into a hyperinflation stage, okay? And not only that, gas prices is going to um, skyrocket, all right? Mm hmm. So let's uh, get Second Ezra's, let me see, 15, all right? All right. So this, uh, this Second Ezra's, what, 15 and 5. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. All right. And these different plagues are a result of a lack of resources and, you know, becoming a third world country, you know, losing those uh, first world privileges. You know, now it don't matter that you have a good job. You, you everything, the price of living is going up and your, your paycheck is not getting bigger. All right. So, uh, you know, everybody is feeling it, whether they uh, upper class, middle class and, uh, you know, lower class. Everybody is feeling the stress level, you know, and the intensity of what of the cost of living going up. Um, let me see. All right. <clears throat> I might get these, bear with me. Let me jump down, here you go. This second is 15 and 19. All right, second is 15 and 19, all right? It says, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation, all right? So, um, and also, when, you know, these truckers, uh, you can't forget about these 18 wheelers. They running dry. They going on strike, you know, um, uh, you know, and get, like I say, gas prices is going to get extremely high, you know, and that's going to uh, cause a domino effect. That's going to cause a domino effect for crime, you know, for people to quit their jobs, for people to get laid off. All type of stuff for businesses to close down. So it's going to have a domino effect of a lot of uh, catastrophe. All right. Um, all right. I think that's Ecclesiastes. This is Ecclesiastes 12. And um, I'm going to start at 3. Please ask these 12 and 3. All right. It says in, th in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble. 
All right. So uh, people are trembling. OK, especially the ones, uh, the economists, they're trembling. All right. Because they see what's coming and they see what's going on. The ones that's, uh, you know, the ones that's wiser than Daniel, they see what's going on. OK. And us men of the Lord, we already know what's going on according to prophecy. We're just waiting on it to uh, play out. But our, you know, uh, we already understand what's coming. And it has to come in order uh, before we can go to get to the kingdom of heaven and before the Lord come back. All right. So these these prophecies um, that's going on. All right. It has to play out. Jacob's trouble has to uh, uh, happen. It has to play out, you know. To what? Get to the kingdom of heaven, okay? <clears throat> so it says, uh, all right, uh, verse 4, And the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Uh all right, so this just going into you know life as you know it is going to it's going to cease it's going to cease to exist, and we seeing it, you know, it's going to cease to exist. People are not happy how they used to, uh, five years ago. You know, no nobody's happy how they used to. Uh, people are not celebrating these wicked holidays how they used to. People are not uh celebrating Black Friday how they used to. All right, the grinding is low. A lot of people are suffering, miserable. The the cost of living has gone up. It's harder to what live, pay your your bills, your rent. All right. It's, it's so uh, life as as we know it is crumbling. And uh, who gets all the credit? The Most High, the Lord Yahweh Bashmaosha. Okay. So this is just a, a, a you know a, a a product of prophecy, as I as I say. Okay, I should say. All right, um, that's basically it. You know, not gonna make it too long. But with that, Lord willing, that was edifying. Want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Yahweh Kakwadash. Double honors to my other apostles, Great Millstone, rule and teach well. And uh, to the men of the Lord, teaching, doing the same. Major Shalom. Uh, uh, to the families of the men of the Lord, wish you Shalom.